The Estevan Bruins were looking for the Survivor Series sweep of the Notre Dame Hounds February 27th at Spectra Place. A win would advance them to the next round of the playoffs and see them face the rival Weyburn Red Wings. The Bruins got off to a quick start as they opened the scoring one minute and 43 seconds into the game. Derek Whitehill made a great pass over to Tyler Pozlowski who tapped the puck into a wide open net. The Hounds would tie the game up eight minutes later on a goal from Carson Grola. Then on the penalty kill, Notre Dame would take their first lead of the game when Catlin Foley picked off a pass and scored on a breakaway. After 20 minutes of play, the Hounds led 2-1. In the second period, the Bruins fought back to tie the game up. Tyler Poskis shot one on net from the point and it snuck past Notre Dame's goalie. It wouldn't be the last time that the Bruins defenseman would be heard from in the game. Bruins goalie Stephen Glass made some big saves in the second to keep the game tied up and he was using all parts of his body to stop the puck as he took one off his head here that knocked off his mask. With less than a minute left in the second period, the Bruins appeared to have taken a 3-2 lead on a howitzer from Cole Olsen. The puck bulged the net and appeared to have gone through the net. The referee immediately waved off the goal as the puck was sitting on the back of the net. After two periods of play, the game was tied at twos. The Hounds struck first in the third period on the power play. Greg Ferguson scored with just over five minutes left in regulation. Down a goal, the Bruins turned up the heat on the Hounds and were fighting hard to get another tying goal. Notre Dame turned the puck over to Dominic Perot inside the blue line and Perot fired it on net and passed the goalie for the tying goal. The goal came exactly 60 seconds after the Hounds had scored. The teams were tied after three and went to overtime for the first time in the series. It didn't take long for the two teams to settle things in overtime as two minutes and 38 seconds in, Tyler Kauk advanced his team to the next round. After that, all that was left were the handshakes. Following the game, Perot talked about scoring the tying goal to force overtime and also the importance of finishing the Hounds off quickly in the Survivor Series. Uh, you know what, it was, so I was surprised. I was, you know, I, I got the puck and just, you know, looking to get it through, get it on net and, you know, it, it happened to go in. So I, I'll take it, I'll definitely take it. And I mean, Coker sealing it in overtime, that was just kind of the cherry on top. Oh, the huge. We, you know, that was our mentality going in, and we needed to do it in three. And we, we, we learned the hard way last year, um, do it going to five. So we know we, everyone was uh, telling everyone that we needed to finish in three, and you know, conserve energy and uh, go from there. The Bruins had three big goals from their defensemen. Kauk talked about what he saw on the overtime goal. Well, uh, I seen Pasolowski kind of get it in the corner, so I. I pinched in a little bit to go kind of back door and he and he looked up and seen me and he just he fed me with the pass and I guess the goal he kind of got knocked over and fell out of his net and I just put her in the net. The Bruins were outscored four to one in the first period by the Hounds in the Survivor Series but coach Keith Cassidy said it isn't a huge concern for the team. Um, no because I mean with our opening 20 minutes against those guys seemed to be pretty good. Uh, when, when we know we have a big test ahead of us, it, it seems to, to get our focus, um, you know, razor sharp. And I thought, you know, we came out, we had a good first 10 minutes in this game. Uh, we had all sorts of chances and opportunities. Um, and, you know, our, our last 10 wasn't great. But I'm encouraged by the fact that we, we are capable of getting out to a good start like that. 
And uh, if we can turn that into a 20-minute effort rather than just a 10-minute effort, I'll be happy. I'm completely happy with our second and third periods all series. So, you know, let's get that second half of the first done and we'll be okay. The upcoming series versus Weyburn will be a big one. Cassidy touched on a few things he will look for from his team. Well, we need to play our game. Uh, and we need to play it to a tee. We need to be skating. You, you notice anytime we got in trouble is when we got flat-footed and started looking around for pucks and, and waiting for things to happen. We're a team when our feet are moving and, and we're physically engaged in the game, um, we have success. Um, so we're, we're going to be looking for that. We're going to be looking for good starts, like you were saying. And because um, I think first 10 minutes of any game, you know, generally set the tone for how it's going. Uh, now you don't hang your hat on, on how that goes, but it's certainly a benefit to any team that, that gets out to the quicker start. So we're going we're gonna to focus on getting that done as well. For Estevan Mercury.ca, I'm Reese Kelso.